Hey guys, Juan here. This is my entry for the um, non-GDC. Uh, I took the opportunity to uh, make a video on, uh, I think, which is a, a new cool feature that I have been uh, working on. I know that it has been a while since uh, my last video on info ue I really want to complete that uh, 101 list, um, but uh, yeah, I I'm super focused on developing features. And, and then I will start working on the, on the documentation. Uh, if you're not familiar with the plugin, the plugin is, um, is uh, a plugin for Unreal Engine that allows you to use NIM, which is a, a really cool language uh, that has a, 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 nice, uh, a lot of nice features. Uh, I, I won't be um, listing them today because uh, I don't want to waste uh, anyone's time. But essentially, it's a plugin that sits between uh, CPP and Blueprints, which means you can extend uh, Blueprint from name, um, like you would in CPP, and also allows you to uh, yeah, compile um, native code. Not like um, it, it compiles to CPP, but not like uh, the Blueprint nativization story, which is a quite crappy CPP, but efficient uh, CPP. Um, Outside that, um, the last feature, well, you, you can check the ROM up here. Uh, it has pretty much everything implemented by now. Um, the last uh, big thing that happened to the plugin is now you can do a chip build. Um, and also, well, chip build me worth mentioning that when, when you are developing the plugin uh, with, with, the, with the editor, it outputs DLLs like Unreal does. But when you um, want to ship your build, um, it just outputs uh, CPP, which is a statically linked uh, with the Unreal Build tool. And then it means that the, there is no extra size for symbols that uh, we don't use or any surprises, right? Um, there is also no runtime, which is uh, fantastic. Um, uh, it uses the, the, the CBP one. Uh, yeah, that's on that side. One really cool fe feature that I implemented um, during that last month was the virtual function support, which means there is a third person template that you can download. Um, I, I have it here. Um, so with this um, um, virtual function support, you can now override virtual function uh, in NIM directly from CPP like you would do in, in CPP. So now, before we have like um, an extra um, component for the input uh, component uh, pointer, like an extra property, and now we can just override a virtual function. This is a syntax for it. You only have to put the right signature and it will detect it. It will generate the appropriate CPP and it will even create a um, a super for you, so you can call it if you want to call the base method, and yeah, but that uh, besides that, it's like you will do it in in CPP, right? Uh, what what I'm going to do, show you today is um, this new feature that I think it uh, it's really cool and will be like a, probably a game changer. It's still a bit far from complete, but um, before that, let me just go ahead and, and show you what I have here. I have this um, actor. Um, I already put it on, on the scene, uh, which has two buttons, these ones, that allows you to change uh, the color of, of, of the mesh, right? Because it's, uh, um, it has this static mesh. Uh, actor selected, which is this one, and then we access to, to the mesh component and we set the, the value on the, <coughs> on the material, uh, the, the base color, right? We just convert the, the linear color to a vector and you click the button and it changes the, the color, right? That, that's uh, for you to know that there is no, nothing fancy going on here. Just that, right? Um, so when I hit play, Right, I have this ticking function, right, for the um, uh, character, which is here, yeah, right? Nothing, nothing special either. Uh, so what I wanted to show you, though, is that um, I have this um, this file here where I can write name like this, right? 
and I can save it, uh, I can, uh, yeah, I can execute it, uh, you, it, it, it's here, ping, right, you see that, uh, I can do it again, uh, well, uh, yeah, you can, you can update it like, like that, right, so let me just so don't be going to that button over and over again, uh, I, I have this helper actor here, which allows me to just start a watcher, um, okay, so if I change the, um, the file it will detect it and it will print it so good but uh, not super useful although you can if you're familiar with NIM you know that it has like a macro system so you can create um, macros and use the unreal log as a output window uh, but that for another day I guess so I have here right remember if I hit play and the uh, function that is on the on the actor on game this one uh, is going to be executed right so i did uh, this uh, cool thing which is um, well first, first of all there is ui bind that allows you to bind uh, a function from the Unreal Reflection system. This can be any function from Blueprint to CPP, or but in this particular case, it's our set cube color. Uh, the bindings for regular name are generated. In case you don't, you are wondering, you can bind anything that is exposed to the. Um, I mean, the, the the binding are auto generated for anything that is exposed to the reflection system. Uh, for the VM though, um, there aren't yet, but uh, this is a way to, to do it. It uh, generates the proper code to hook this set cube color to uh, the function. Uh, but I, I will work on, on that soon, so everything will be, will be bound um, soon. This is kind of a proof of concept. So yeah, I have the function bound, and then I have these fake types. So the, the, the cool thing is this, um, this other function, which is UI borrow, right? Um, with this, what this allows you to do, you see, it's override any function um, that is implemented either in NIM or in Blueprint or in CPP uh, that uses the reflection system. So any U functions, really, um, it's, it, it, it detects the, the class uh, through the self uh, pointer. Um, um it just hooks it so when you um, get access to it um, you see it's the, the pointer is actually the third person character itself yeah right i did this because it did i even want to go to, with all the ceremony to set up the the script so you can test thing quickly uh, i just wanted a way to hook into the engine and to change what you need to change and then move this code into the real code. Because remember, this is a virtual machine. Uh, this is not actually the final link code that is super fast to run, right? We have the same compile times. So we have like, um, I don't know, between somewhere between five and, or eight seconds, depending on your machine. And they will be, get better, but this is just another thing. This is uh, milliseconds, um, like, 100 milliseconds or so, or even less in some cases. So this is really, really great. But this is not it. If, uh, if I, I have here, um, like, um, this code here. Like, I can just um, comment and move up. So this is essentially um, picking the class, right, of the test uh, editor actor that I showed you before, this one, right? And uh, remember, this is bound for, for them, so this is accessible um, from our actor. So I get the class, the, the, I, I also bound this one from the reflection system for, from the U gameplay statics. Um, since it's a static method, uh, I, I have I pass here a string, but eventually this will be a type, so you are type safe there. But anyway, you, you don't have to do the UV bind part because all of this code will be auto generated for you. But, um, but yeah. Uh, it takes the work contract, which is uh, self in this case. It, this is the 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 card, the card pointer and the class that you want to 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 get from, right? And then yeah, 
then we have access to it, we log it, and we can change the editor color, right? Uh, just save. So, uh, yeah, just so you to see the speed, I will do here zero save, right? One save. This is super, super fast, super convenient. You can test here your, your game logic. Uh, you want to find something else, of course, something else. Again, you don't have to do this, but let, just, just let me do like um, a sample here for you. So I, I bind uh, jump. I can do now self jump, right? And we're gonna happen. That's, it's not that good. Yeah, so, um, and yeah, it, I think it's great. I hope you like the animation this is taking. Um, eventually, I, I want to, I mean, this is like a subset of name, which is, um, it, it, I want to be able to copy and paste uh, code here from, from this um, version of NIM to the actual full performance version of NIM, um, being able to copy paste between them. But also, I would like to um, create the, all, all, all the new classes that we have. Of course, you, you won't be able to do things like virtual functions, but uh, all of this, uh, I think, uh, can be done. Um, and I want to... Um, move all, all of this code so you can iterate really really quickly between um, generating your classes and shaping the design of your project within the editor so when you forget something um, like a, a, a tag or a, a meta or something you don't have to recompile again recompiling in is super fast it's like five seconds comparing that to cpp which in most of the platform you have to even close the editor it's a nightmare but um, I want it to be really, really fast. And uh, yeah, and that, uh, that's coming too. So in order to make the, the, the plugin feature complete, uh, I, I, I will complete this side here. The two or five, three minor items that are, are, are missing on the roadmap. Um, I, I would also like to do a custom editor for, for the plugin. Um, after that, I think it should be ready to, to rock, right? But uh, anyway, if, if you want to use it today, you can for sure, uh, but the, the process will be a little bit more involved. Um, if you want to keep up with the updates, uh, you can subscribe to the channel, you can uh, follow me on Twitter, or you can join to our Discord. Thank you for your time. Bye.